guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at cell death. The two main types of cell death are apoptosis and necrosis. The reason I'm using these colours is necrosis is sort of bad cell death, apoptosis is good cell death. Why do we say that? This is controlled, this one's not controlled. So first let's look at the apoptosis. So in terms of cell death and why it's controlled, it's important for us to not forget that cells do need to die as well as form. So when new cells are formed, we need old cells to die in order for um, your body to maintain like balance and homeostasis. And op apoptosis is a controlled, regulated form of cell death. And why might we need apoptosis to occur? Well, there can be damaged or infected cells, for example. There can be the need to make a lumen. So, for example, when um, the gastrointestinal tract forms, there's a hollow hole because the cells on the inside, right, they don't form like they don't form like this. It's more like the inside mass, right? Those cells on the inside they disappear. Oops, um, let me do that again. The cells on the inside disappear, right? It's like these cells, they disappear. That's how lumen is formed. That's how apoptosis is important. Another example of apoptosis is with syndactyly. I think that's what that's the name for when your fingers are uh, joined together. Where um, if they fail to separate, you won't really have five distinct fingers. Your fingers could be connected. That's um, some of the reasons why apoptosis is useful. The two main ways uh, apoptosis is triggered is internal signaling. So with chemicals and molecules signaling that the cell needs to die, or it can be from extracellular signaling. So like toxins and um, other substances on the cellular surface of membrane. So um, they can trigger um, apoptosis to occur. Okay, now let's look at the steps of apoptosis. The first one is cell shrinkage. So the cell will shrink, and that's because molecules called caspases break down the cytoskeleton. Make sure you tune into the video of the cytoskeleton to know uh, why it's important and how it's um, uh, how it is structurally composed. The next one is a step called pyknosis, where chromatin condenses into chromatin into dense DNA, and it forms patches around the nuclear membrane. The next step is something called karyohexis. Hopefully I spelled that right. And I didn't, there are meant to be two R's here, karyorexis, sorry. And that's where the nuclear membrane sort of dis, 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 disintegrates and um, it forms like fragments of DNA. Next step is, the next step is blebbing where the cell membrane sort of breaks up into irregular components and we call those blebs, which is a pretty cool sounding word. Um, the final step is phagocytosis, which if you know about the immune system you recognize and we have apoptotic bodies being formed by the cell. Apoptotic bodies, these are small like vesicular structures and what happens is these apoptotic bodies can be um, uh, taken up by cells and phagocytosed. Now let's have a look at necrosis. So it's uncontrolled and unregulated cell death and this is generally due to external factors such as infection, tissue damage, a cut, uh, something generally that's not controlled by the cells. Again, unregulated. And necrosis, why is it bad? Generally, the cell just swells up and bursts, releasing its contents to the surrounding. And so these some of these contents of the cell can actually be toxic in the surrounding environment, leading to damage to the surrounding cells as well, leading to necrotic tissue forming. Tissues are components of cells composing cells put together, and necrotic tissue is really bad. So if you want, um, as long as you guys aren't eating while watching this video, you can search up some examples of necrotic tissue, might make you want to vomit, but um, just have a look at that if you want to see what it looks like. So this is um, a really cool part of necrosis. So if you think about necrosis, this is unregulated, right? And what that means is these cells need to be removed surgically. So we have damaged cells that have died, released toxic substances to surrounding cells, and these cells are unregulated, so they can't really communicate with the rest of the body and bring phagocytotic vesicles to sort of tell the cell, um, okay, we need to get rid of the, the unwanted stuff. So we need to surgically remove it. So it's really logical to think about how necrosis, unregulated, no phagocytosis happens. So we need to surgically remove these cells. So if we're going to compare apoptosis versus necrosis, we have unregulated, um, re sorry, regulated, unregulated. We have um, surrounding cells unaffected, surrounding cells affected. Um, sometimes beneficial for apoptosis, not really beneficial, 
um, cells can be removed um, phagos by phagocytosis, necrosis, um, you'll have to have it removed surgically. And also, we can think about necrosis being really simple, sort of the cell bursting, swelling up and bursting, whereas apoptosis, we have so many processes. We have the cell shrinkage, pycnosis, karyorexis, um, blebbing, and last but not least, phagocytosis. Anyways, that's cell death, apoptosis, and necrosis in five minutes. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you smash the like button, join the Learnify family, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below for any future suggestions for videos. Peace out.